where we're going. Back on your screens and in your ears, welcome to Papa G's house. Ooh. Tonight. Hi. I've Tonight got on G's. <laughs> <laughs> you see Papa what I did there? G's. Tonight. Oh, I'm not going to do the joke again. <laughs> well, this is All right, guys. This is one that I've been really uh, been looking forward to. We've got Mike. We've got Kevin. Hi. And we've got Damien. The new guy. Oh. With Dawn. Who? The with Dizzle. Uh, the new Bizzle. The new w- Bizzle. WD-40? No, Jeez, so we're getting really straight into yeah. that, eh? There we go, there we go. I don't know what that means. <laughs> the lube. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, Guys, thanks so much for joining me, man. I know it's kind of weird because we've known each other for so long. And Who are you also, again? Huh? What? Huh? Who are you? Come at me, bro. He's uh, Papa G. Oh, and he's that guy in that, that guy. And we're at his Come house. Come in my studio. He's a lot cuter in real life, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. That's, that's it's also true. kind of weird um, uh, sitting and interviewing a, a fellow bandmate as well. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's not true. Oh, uh, not me. <laughs> you know, it's Cape Town. Everybody plays. <laughs> yeah, for everybody. exactly. I mean, in there is the horse scene. It's yeah. incestuous, yeah. It's because yeah. there are not many good basses. Yeah. Well, jeez. Yeah. Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, you know what they say? In- incest is a game for the whole family. So. Yeah. <laughs> we're just one big family. Cape Town. We're, we're brothers. We're, we're happy <laughs> and we're <laughs> singing. <laughs> and we're <laughs> 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 Subscribe right, to PewDiePie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thanks for having us. It's super hot. Like I'm dying of heat right now. All right. Well, thanks for having us. Goodbye. Cool, cool, right? I, you warned me that Kevin was gonna do. Uh, oh, thanks. Uh, next question. Stop. Uh, next question. I, I warned you about his, next in, his interview no, voice. Yeah. His, his interview persona. It's oh, quite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Um, but you guys are fresh off the boat, fresh off the plane, <laughs> fresh off the plane. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm not Somalian. The, yeah. the airplane. They they flew mm. with the fruit. I flew with the. Yeah, you guys did African travel word. separately. Yeah. What was what was up? Uh, what um, yeah, I went us, up. Damien. I went up a, a day earlier with the waifu. Uh, okay, cool. And, Fucking Yoko. And just, <laughs> yeah. And we just went and hung out with a friend that had a baby recently. So we just saw her. Okay, so you got, got to meet the baby. Wicked. Yeah, nice it's pretty one, chill. Nice Not one. family, just a friend. And then you guys, a friend, yeah. you guys had a flight that was delayed. Oh, beautiful. Was mm. it a bad omen or what? Mm, nah, Mango Airlines, top notch. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking mango. Hey, we got time to, to have a really nice brekkie. So yeah, it was good. Nice. Good break. I won't lie. That was no, we didn't. We got there yeah. late for our, our flight, so we had... Uh, I loved we, eating we, my... Yeah. Yeah. We, I added, love, we added toasted but, sandwich uh, on uh, the plane. Uh, <laughs> ah, I loved eating my breakfast while the uh, line was boarding. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Few, well, few I mean, it peasants. seems like a lot of South African airways, not South African airways, um, but a lot of them <laughs> are, are running late. I was flying Safair the other day from East London and that was delayed for three hours and mm. I ended up just getting pissed at the cave, which was kind of cool. That's unusual. That cool. Safair are always on time. They won the, the, the feather. The yeah, they had to, they had to um, the emergency land uh, a plane that had to circle yes, around Robben right, Island. Because yeah. they're hours. old nationwide planes, yeah. that's why. Can they're you like imagine being 80s, in a plane dude. circling Cape Town for two hours? No, Fuck, yeah, I can't yeah, imagine. It's dark, <laughs> wasn't it? Because it was late at night as well. Oh, yeah. oh, there's I my it was house in the morning. There's my house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's my house. Are we there yet? Just <laughs> going around, yet? getting fucking dizzy. So you say you went to East London Airport? Yeah, yeah. Listen, it's I don't quite, even want to get into it. It's a big airport, that. right? Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's massive. It's got a whole mug and bean and big like a big like coffee or beer. That's, that's yeah. a metropolitan, right yeah. there. Yeah, but so I want to get into to to the nitty gritty of with Dawn, guys. Obviously, I've known you guys. Um, like I said, I'm I'm extremely excited to Ooh, to chat to 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 you guys because in my musical journey, you guys have been my like number <laughs> one like band that I played with, mm. a band that supported us, Very all that kind of so. jazz. Because mm. uh, you were a part of Seven String Studios that recorded Atlantic South's Correct. first ever single. Sure. Correct. Crazy. So. Yeah, so I'm really excited to, even though we're bandmates now. Yeah. Um, we've we come a long time. We've come a yeah. long time. What, what band are you guys in together? Ill System. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. It's like you don't know, bro. I'm learning <laughs> things. logos flashing on the screen. Yeah. I, I'm learning things because I didn't know about the whole seven string recording you guys first. Mm. EP, what song? EP? Yeah, it was, it was Terraformer 2014. And Mike recorded that. Um, Mike no, at Seven String Studios that was was um, Neil, Mike, Neil. Carla, Neil, and yeah. uh, early stages with Neil. Terraforma, the guitarist from was Bobby, Bobby Addison. Oh, that's right. Bobby oh, and Bobby. Yeah, okay. No, Neil Bassett had recorded it. Yeah. 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 Or Moment of Clarity. Guitar. Neil's Moment of Clarity. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 And Good we old all look. had a kind of a really cool rapport going and all that jazz. Um, right. I was, was a huge times. fan of your old band Sabretooth. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Or was it your last show that you played with Emnity and, oh, yeah, yeah. and, and all that? that. And uh, that Check other band. It was one of the dropping. wildest nights at Raw, <laughs> I, c- I can imagine. Uh, it was a good time. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. It was I amazing. wasn't there. Petty, that place is gone. Yeah. Petty. What yeah. place? Raw. Oh, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't concentrating. Well, come to 2019, yeah. Mike. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> The so, year of so no rule. I, I want to <laughs> just for the listeners, because just think about a situation where everybody who's listening doesn't know anything. Um, who? Obviously, I know, so I want you to just basically repeat the story to me. Um, <laughs> That's very much their story. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll of course, we're gonna get to your yeah, we'll uh, get to your story. To your uh, joining My the band later. Um, <laughs> Josh is the best, but what? <laughs> no, really joking. Hey, Josh, kind of warm with these rhinos and his just, own a whole podcast cool again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Beer is on the, the body down. That was actually um, he. Um, that was quite cool. I watched that. Announced his his, uh, his departure from South Africa on that podcast actually. Mm. But um, mm. let's talk about Kevin. You uh, you the you the the, the founding uh, member. The only one left. The only yeah. one left. But yeah. Might as well so, change so our why name. Why don't we get into to <laughs> Good God, how, how it all came years? about? <laughs> <laughs> Try not talk over each other. Yes. It started. When? A few years ago. How many years ago? Good few. Okay. And Dismantling the Architects have anything to yes, do with it? Yes, Alistair it did. Alistair have anything to do with yes. it? Yes. Josh had anything to do with yes. it? Yes. Okay, we'll carry on. Okay, so... Yes. Come on, origin Let's story. Let's go. Quiet, quiet, Ronnie. <laughs> Do you want to play some background? Just music? kidding. <laughs> Don't worry. It's yeah, just checking the mic. Oh, God. Okay, so. <clears throat> Dismantling the Architects was me, Josh, Alistair on bass. Mm-hmm. Gareth, not this Gareth, another Gareth, Ashton mm-hmm. on guitar, and mm-hmm. Warren Cox on vocals. And Ross on keyboards when he came to shows. Uh, anyway, so Ross, Ross from Emnity. No, no, no. no, no. Ross, yeah. Ross Rowley. Rowley. Okay. Mm, I was yeah. trying to remember his surname. Yeah. Sorry, man. It's all good. I don't remember people's names. Yeah. I Who remember. are you again? Uh, Anyways. Someone. <laughs> Where was I? Yes, anyway, so that band disbanded. <laughs> Delicious pun. And um, <laughs> Tasty. Yes. And then I had a lot of songs that didn't really match anything that was going on with Dismantling or VOL, the other band I was in. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. Plus, I was just a, a singer, slut. really. Um, I tried to write songs for them, and they, they took a few. That was cool. Anyway, so, yeah. And then I, I, I called Josh, and he was like, I'm working, bro. I said, cool, I'm coming to your work. He was working at Tango's. Sounds like an and I Yes. Went, and I, <laughs> Had some beers and I said, I want to start a band and I want it to be like, I don't know, like a like a progressive new metal, but like hardcore, but post hardcore, but post metal, but post this and progressive that. And <laughs> Did you have the Calamari <laughs> special at Tango's? No, I had the Black Label special. Oh, it was okay. delicious. Thank nice. you. Mm. The Calamari was pretty good as well. Shout out to Black never, Label. <laughs> yeah. Black Label. Hashtag um, no regrets. No, what's it? No, no excuses. Rag-rats. No ragrats. No ragrats. No excuses. Hashtag I think impotent. I don't know. No excuses. You drink better beer. No, dude. It says champions no. deserve a champion the beer. Americans lastly lively. That's that's long gone from the logo. Oh not, shit! Is it okay? not, yeah, spun- no, not yeah. sponsored? Not sponsored. That was from the nineties, man. America's lusty lively. I miss those days. Anyway, so Josh was like, and I said, "Fun fact: calling is actually Danish." But okay. Well, whatever. Like <laughs> this, this I think this came from Canada originally. Back in the 60s. Black no, Label came from Canada. Canada. Seriously. Canada Damn. or the United so States. So how did it end up being America's Lusty Lively Beer? Because it moved to America. Oh, wow. They probably bought out the, the factory and then... Anheuser-Busch. You know. no. Fun fact, uh, Canada's yeah. favorite beer is Labatt's. Mm. The what? Labatt's. Labatt's lager. Yeah, it's, you it's actually craft, real pieces craft, of bats. No, it's actually very good. Machine, yeah, 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 real yeah. pieces I, I used of to drink bats. a lot of it in the UK. It's actually very nice. Yeah. It's delicious. Guano. 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 Okay, like back on track. Anyway, yeah. we, we're dismantling yeah. art architects. <laughs> and you were Josh. And okay, so I was with Josh and I said to him, okay, and I said, do you like Devil Soul This Soul? And he said, fuck yes, I do. And I said, well, that's the shit. I want to do that. And he was like, I'm with you, bro. And I was like, yes, that's great. And we said, let's get Alistair. And Alistair was like, I don't care what I do. Let's just do it. <laughs> and, Amazing. And that was that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Alistair went overseas. He moved to New Zealand, mm-hmm. where I hope they washed his shoes. And then... Um, <laughs> is he in New Zealand? Is he, was he yeah. in the UK as well? No, okay. he went from here to New Zealand, and he's cool been there choice. ever since. Hanging out with the sheep. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, fun fact, it's actually... <laughs> Lots of fun facts in this there's book. More cows, oh, there's more cows than sheep. In, hey, that's in, a new drinking game. If you can... <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Yeah. Take a mm. shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like Robin saying, but um, in How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> oh, but um, <laughs> I don't watch that show. So, uh, and then I can't one. remember what happened, actually. I think... I just kind of arrived. I think VOL was playing a show with Moment of Clarity. And I've always loved Moment of Clarity, like, from ages ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, I, I really did it's like it. very them. sweet. And, See? Uh, See? Didn't actually know that. Or, no, no, no. With Dawn was playing. I remember yes. it was that red poster. With Dawn, no, Moment no. of Clarity, and Notum or something. No, no. It was with Dawn, Moment of Clarity, and Throat Ball. Was so it Throat ah. Ball? It was Throat Ball, yeah. Oh, I don't remember Good old Throat with Ball. Yeah. Anyways, and... Um, by then, I knew that Alistair was leaving. It was probably his last show. And then I was standing on the side, and I was like, this guy's this guy's got power. I'm just going to ask him, hey, join my band. Let me check with the wife. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then he did. You got well, happy, that's, happy that's wife actually life, the, first, no? the first time I actually had a interaction with you guys properly at Kill City. Mike had just come from work. It was Josh's birthday. Mm -hmm. And the reason I know that is because it was my birthday as well. Oh, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's and, cute. And uh, <laughs> come on, guy. <laughs> and, I can't um, remember and birthdays. And that was Mike's first session with with Dawn. Yeah, that's oh. right. Yeah. Um, huh. And How we had a little, little few beers, myself and Joshy. That was actually, that's before myself and Josh were actually good mates. Okay. Mm. And we had a couple of beers because it was our it was our birthday. And that was your first session. You were all in your work clothes and all that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. Anyway. So um, touching. And then tell me, then... That that's way after came the girls. So yeah. you guys launched came oh, the no, girls yeah, in two thousand and thirteen. I was at your EP launch, right? Yeah. Yes, hmm. but I'm pretty sure we started in like two thousand and ten. It came the girls like five years old. No, dude, it's it's, yeah, it it's six years old. It was oh, the first years, sorry, song yeah, we ever. It's the first song I we ever math. did together. Yeah. So what came the girls? Yeah, in yeah. a giant church. But that's oh, what yes. your EP was named as well. Yes, because the, um, originally I wanted the band's name to be With Dawn Came the Girls because that's a line from um, Watchmen, the comic. No, Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually from the comic within the comic. It's from Tales from the Black Freighter, oh, okay. which is a comic that the kid oh. reads in Watchmen. But anyway. Yeah, another it's fun, fun fact. Yeah, another yeah, fun, fun fact. fact. <laughs> that's super meta. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. drink. Mm. And um, so the name was going to be With Dawn Came the Girls. Mm -hmm. And I designed logos oh. and I was like, yes, this is cool. And... um. Yeah, no, it's way I too long. I don't know. I think somebody, I don't remember who it was. I think it was actually, it might have been Dylan, actually. Yeah. I think I showed Dylan and he was like, Who's Dylan? Oh, Dylan, Dylan Blake. Blake. Okay. I think it was him. And he said, Yeah, that the name's too long. And I went, <laughs> With <laughs> Dawn. And I was like, All right, I'll just make it with Dawn. And then I'll make the first song we write called Came the Girls. Okay, cool. So good, there you good go. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. And that was that. And, and, then, and yeah. there, was there ever a discussion of, Calling it Came the Girls with Dawn. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so then Came the Girls. I feels, it feels like we're rushing through this so fast. But um, well, that's a so what, about, went, what about the girls came on Dawn? you don't want to really yes. talk about. <laughs> the, girls, the girls came on, on Dawn, Dawn yeah. all over her face. <laughs> and her, and oh, her hair. Poor Dawn. Yeah. And, it's uh, a sticky white substance. It's close. <laughs> Sorry. So, no, Ooh. that's all good. Hey, -o. hey. Um, now we're cooking. Fun so, fact. No? Fun <laughs> fact. Well, I'm going to take it anyway. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Fun yeah. fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Okay. Um, yes. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know. What do you want to say next? I don't well, know. Well, <laughs> what happened next? The, I want to hear what happened. Like, how, how, what was the writing process and came, came the girls? How did you get to <laughs> writing Infinity? Mm. Okay. Hmm. So. <laughs> came the girls they were slightly different but yes. you, you always but get a, a I tell you um, theme in Tethys a lot of that stuff was actually a stuff that I wrote before when it wasn't with Dawn it was okay. in a band that I I was planning on doing mm -hmm. I think bef I was actually telling Damien in the car it was before Dismantling even where I wanted to do like proper post metal like proper like Cult of Luna ISIS, that sort of thing. Okay. And um, so I'd written a couple of things. And then, yeah, that band just didn't happen at all. 
I mean, we never even. I think we just spoke at the Vic. That was about it. it was cool, me, we're Dylan. Do this. Yeah, me, <laughs> Dylan, Brett. Ach, yeah, it was a whole bunch of people. I can't you should have done an ISIS cover band called uh, Suicide Bomber. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fucking great. <laughs> We're not with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. CIA yeah, is no. listening in all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Um, Demonetized. Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. Don't say Rogers. ISIS on a podcast. ISIS? Don't say what? ISIS. Did you say ISIS? Yeah. ISIS. 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 ISIS is cold. Uses. ISIS. Not uses. Uses. ISIS. 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 But we could be talking about on the corner. Yeah. Did you know Uses? Uses, bro. All <laughs> oh, right. He was Uses. <laughs> okay, sorry. We're getting off track. What do you say? Archer. <laughs> Come on, Kev, keep it together, my man. Whoa. So anyway, I was saying those songs there, but there, that song, those songs were before, but I didn't actually have any plan with them. I just had like a basic thing, one riff maybe. You just went full Elmer Fudd there. Oh wait, hold on. That's the pig. What's the pig's name? Anyway, I don't know. Um, <laughs> what? Okay, Mike. Yes. Yeah. Tell Mike. me about the recording <laughs> process in the. Uh, Thank God. In, in, um, when when writing Infinity because obviously Seven String Studios produced yeah, it yeah. there was a general theme um, that the, it yeah I can take us through it yeah. cool. yeah, you were talking too much Kevin shut, your, shut, shut it up I would love to <laughs> shut up <laughs> shut <your trap. laughs> just give me a chair uh, there bro <laughs> okay fun mm, fact uh, Kevin doesn't like to talk much yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> no so yeah we recorded at Seven String Studios under the the guidance of Auspices. Neil Auspices yeah, yeah. <laughs> Neil uh, <laughs> And Neil was a champ, eh? Well, that's actually his he nickname. Was. His nickname is Champ. Fun I fact. thought his champ. nickname okay, was well, Fun Fact Lover. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> it's, your, it's my turn now. My turn. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. It, I'm uh, the one who talks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was a, a theme, uh, mm -hmm. an, a beginning and an ending. Right, and uh, I think a thing around that. A middle? Beginning, uh, yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> no, a middle. <laughs> yeah. It starts, it finishes, and then it starts well, again. It, start, yeah. it, it starts yeah. with in and ends with fin. It's very yeah. psychic. Okay. It's, yeah. it's got to be, um, it's, it's the, the recording process. Not if, because Kev, you, you mm. obviously know the oh, concept behind. Oh, we're back behind. to me again. <laughs> yeah, well, the, you write the no, thing. But the, right? No, but that, that one didn't have a real concept. Okay. The, the, just the kind idea of, loop, of infinity though. was... To make it the beginning uh, and the end sound the same, yeah, it was loop. the same note, okay. and you could when it's when the CD stops and replays itself, it sort of carries okay, on like yeah. that. Okay, okay, but, like um, a loop. But then you, but the, the actual songs are individuals. There's no except for Driftwood. There's yeah, no, well that's yeah, because yeah. in the middle you've got the calm and the storm. Yeah. Driftwood, right? So that's concept, yeah. Yeah. But um, whereas opposed to uh, Tethys, that's that is one song basically. So in terms of the, like the 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 writing process, did you write absolutely everything, and then we you go into a practice room, or do you send? Uh, yeah, yes so and no. I think diminished was actually something that Mike had, mm -hmm. and then we started jamming it, and that's why on YouTube. That intro. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. About, about diminished. I mean, it's uh, it's one of it's one of the crowd favorites, mm -hmm. I reckon. Um, but I, I had this intro riff, and it was actually quite organic how it happened. We were in the mm. in the band room at Kill City, but, uh, studio uh, room two. two. I remember, two. I remember two. specifically. I, I jammed, I jammed that intro riff, mm -hmm. and Kevin recorded his little wah there, and then mm -hmm. Josh did something, and then it was so organic mm -hmm. how that song just progressed. Okay. We, mm -hmm. it, we went into that uh, first bit of like the slidey bit, and then the then Kevin I think Ke we had we had that other like the de, 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 we had yes, that before. Yes, yes, you did that. We, we were just we were jamming that for like five minutes, yeah. just that riff. Dun, dun, and then dun, we dun, went dun. and had a break. He came in, did that intro, and then I was like, oh, that maybe we can do that. Yeah. So it was just one had, of those songs yeah. that just it was fell into place. It was like, so oh, organic yeah, and it's just, just yeah. Yeah. perfect. It was actually yeah, it was it turned out to be a great song. It, okay. it was one of my favorites. Yeah. Nice. I know we went through many that's why on the album it's called Diminished Four Point Five. Because we had, <laughs> it was the fourth. Yeah, true, true story. We, we, Is it called 4.5 in the album? Yeah. yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. And that's because that there were four <laughs> versions before. <laughs> okay. And on YouTube, I had Diminished 1, and then I had Diminished 2, Diminished 3, and the just, you'll hear, like, if you go on, I think, yeah, it is on my channel on YouTube, you'll see there, mm. it's not really the same song. Okay. Uh, okay. What it eventually turned out, because after we'd, uh, you know, written the bulk of them, I sort of went home and I actually played like bits over and over and over to like fit mm. them together. And then eventually it was like, all right, these parts go well together. These parts go well together. These parts go well together. That's, that's how we do it. Okay, cool. 
Because uh, <laughs> that, that's another thing that I've I've picked up is that obviously knowing you that you've only recently invested in software and yes. hardware yes. and all that shit. It's Indeed. like how the ma- how the hell did you manage to write <laughs> an EP and an album <laughs> with no recording software? Yeah. Just your well, amp, I had your good guitar guys with me that could remember stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. 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 Well, well, Josh, that's a gift. Yeah, that is yeah, one guy and then oh, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> this is one thing that I also like to point out is that this is another first for Papa G's house. In that, it's the first time I've ever had a full band. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's well, uh, that three is the piece. absolute first. Yeah, man. Three seat mm. couch. Yeah, makes no, sense. For sure. <laughs> the the, the three seaters are always the, always the tough ones in terms of camera angle and uh, whatnot. But uh, that's why I've got your. We can make here. do. Fine, yeah. if, you, if you don't get me, it's all good. <laughs> and just on that, dude, I, I must admit, Having just from my side, I love the fact that it's a three piece band. Mm. Yeah, people, you know, we, we get on stage and then people are like, "Oh fuck, it's a three piece! Like, what's mm. going on there?" But yeah. then. What you comes out? What, what what comes out is not you don't expect it from a three piece. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people have told me that. It's really cool and like probably one of the the, the main reasons. Did I why tell you I, you could talk? <laughs> 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 well, I'm just going to say this. Uh, <laughs> you're still under initiation. He's had one one gig and he's like, chat away. I'm no, not. I was going to say it's pretty cool and like the fact that, we're, that, that that it's a three piece and like one of the main reasons why I joined is because if there's like less people in the band, then you pretty much get more money. You know, you make, you make <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> yeah, we get we get uh, paid, uh, we I get just, money. What? We get I'm just paid? taking the piss. No, I got you. I got yeah. you. I got you. That's cool, man. But no, he's but, got uh, a point though. Because you've, always, I'd say that's a fun fact. Saber to fun six fact. members. <laughs> yeah. Um, Goodness. And all your other bands have have been four, and you've never been in a three piece, huh? No, or this is you? my first three piece. Awesome. Yeah. Three and piece how are you suit. finding it? Cool. I mean, to be honest, like. Um, Kevin and Mike's sound, the sound they get out of the instruments is very much, it, it's its like bigger than some four or five pieces I've heard. So I awesome. paid him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized though, sorry. <laughs> no, like, because like, you've got a B7 K. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. to be honest, I don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> it's a bass pedal. <laughs> uh, okay. No, no, like, yeah, preamp. Like, when, preamp. We, when we rehearse, like, it's, it's, it's loud. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? It's loud. Awesome. So, it's great. Yeah. That's rad, yeah. man. That's rad. Yeah. Well, we might as well get to that point now, is obviously, um, we know that with Dawn was a three-piece. We're being piece. robbed. Yeah. Sorry? They're supposed to be in the back. But anyway. <laughs> um, it was a three-piece with Josh Grady. Um, mm. He was the second guest on, on on my podcast where he announced his departure. Hi, Josh. Um, hi, Josh. Hey, Josh. In the UK, drinking hard and uh, hope you're and, freezing to death and making money. Mm. It's gonna be pretty cold there. Making money, Bank. yeah, pounds, um, pound that and shit. I think a lot of people were fairly devastated when he left because he, he was Not such me. a party <laughs> animal <laughs> and he always had such a, a great. Um, energy about him at shows yes. and all that kind of jazz that is true and i can imagine from uh, obviously from a friend's point of view it, i still miss him every day um oh, every but day. from a from a band perspective obviously you guys had such a tight bond how was that uh, that um process of going from josh leaving to finding damien well first of all he still owes me that money from the bond so <laughs> hey anyways <laughs> No, but actually, I mean, <coughs> we had Damien locked in before Josh left. Josh knew about it. We did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know that, bro. Yeah. I Josh, mean, where I have yeah. I been? But we never, we didn't practice until this really? year. Really? Yeah, yeah. We'd, be, we'd been speaking uh, for quite a while, yeah. like a couple, yeah. a good couple of months. Yeah. I remember seeing that Josh left uh, on Facebook yeah. and I was like, shit, these dudes need a drummer. Mm-hmm. I fucking dig the music. Let me see if mm-hmm. uh, so, Kevin will get me in there. And yeah. then, yeah. And then he messaged me, and I was like, "Fuck!" Obviously, yeah. That's and it just so happens it's yeah. Damien. And yeah. then also, yeah, it makes it look easy. Yeah. The, the band that I was in at the time, Bottom Feeder, that kind of like dissolved, so it kind of just made sense. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, so. I mean, I'll be honest. It actually worked out perfectly because when Josh left in in was it August, eh? July, August. Yeah, September. somewhere around there. I can't remember. Ke- we, we, He's a distant memory. Mm. Kevin now. and I decided we said we're gonna <laughs> 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 we're gonna take a, a break because Kevin was yes. doing wedding planning yeah. and stuff. And I said, "Congratulations, Kevin! Yeah, congrats, man! Congrats. 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 Love you." So yeah. it worked out perfectly in that we had we had like five six months. Yeah, and then we it was uh, Damon said, "Let's join," and I think the timing was perfect. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah it's, I'm 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 stoked. And nice. then. Um, yeah, and then Musa said, come play the show. And I was like, oh, fuck. 
Just, let me just check with Danny <laughs> no, you, if he's going to be alright. As soon right. as you, you've got a deadline, yeah. that's when you're like, oh yeah. shit. Otherwise, no, we, we probably really... still yeah, that was fucking around. That yeah. was actually cool because yes, that, that kind of put thing. a fire under our butts. Mm. Exactly. Sp- especially me because I had to learn the... Yes. How many tracks did we play? Five or six? Two. Dude, we only had five Two. practices. Yeah, but five or six songs. We only had five rehearsals. We only had five rehearsals. Yeah. Oh, Dude, my but five hat. or six songs is at least an hour or two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great. <laughs> nice. So there's not much to learn. Plus the Limp Bizkit cover. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I was going to mention that. Did yeah. Moose do break stuff with you? Yeah, yeah. yeah that was awesome. cool. Yeah, that was very cool. That was fun, yeah. Nice. And, and, um, yeah, you were saying that traveling is, 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 uh, is tough. Yeah, um, I travel a lot for my own job. Yeah, but with instruments. With instruments, dude. <laughs> unless, it's, unless someone's doing it for you, it's a loss. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I actually I realized that, yeah, because the first time we went to Joburg, we, had, we put the guitars through Bane luggage. Mm. So we were walking around freely. Yep. But now we're doing the sky check because it's a bit safer. You know, you, you've got your guitar for longer. It's not getting fucked up. Um, but walking around the airport with your guitar is not fun. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Look, but on still. that basis, I'm going to put my fucking dogs in the back. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, of, of Musa, he is in the band 11th Hour. Mm-hmm. Mm. They've been going for quite a long time, right? They've, yeah. I mean, more than 10 years, eh? No, they're not going anymore. But they're not anymore. Oh, Triz, oh, Triz okay. now. It's his solo thing. Oh, it's is it thing. only Triz? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So it's remembers. a solo yeah. thing now, yeah. All oh, right, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't but know yeah, that. But yeah, 11th Hour were great. Yeah, well, mm. we played with them and... At Raw, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but I played with you. We Atlantic South with Dawn and Ill System played. Oh, and one of those, And 11th yeah. Hour, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, back in the day. But speaking of Moose, he's got a new... Um, yeah. Um, project called Triz but he's always had Triz but he's now got his band yeah. together yes and, and they've come cool, out with yeah. a new song what is that song called you do, yeah it's called um, If I'm, Only We Could Fly yeah. <laughs> If Only We Could Fly <laughs> I'm guessing I don't know what it's called Something okay cool. well this is the new single it's by rad. Triz which is what is I mean I'm appalled that uh, I don't know the name but here's Triz with a new single we'll come with <laughs> come back with the name when we get when we come <laughs> yeah. back when we get back Cheers. When you roll in my hood, you better roll up with your lights out. Heavy hitters in the dark night, they be sipping on the most out. Now are you ready for the last call? Or maybe ready for a street brawl? So come and get it if you wanna roll. Street ethics of the jungle. Now let's take a ride around the whole block You fellas better have your little fingers on the block uh, Ain't it a shame that you can't do nothing We ride right across the street, we could really do something Put in some work for the hood and get your ass promoted Become a snitch of a night and get demoted Wax on, wax off, man, this ain't a trap song Maybe all you need is just a little hit of this song Maybe all you need is just a little hit of this song when you roll in my hood, you better roll up with your lights out. Heavy hitters in the dark night, they be sipping on the most out. Now are you ready for the last call, or maybe ready for a street brawl? So come and get it if you wanna roll. Street ethics of the jungle. It's only just a matter of time until you get checked A lot of stranger in my hood, I got the best rep You wanna run your little mouth all night We only try to see progress, we bark and bite uh, So many homies in the streets at night So little coppers wanna gun and fight Well that's right, yeah I'm not afraid of all the tough guy acts We're holding down for the hoodie, we ain't turning it back Come on We hold it down for the hoodie, we ain't turning it back Yeah. 
So come and get it if you want to roll. Street Ethics of the Jungle. We hold it down for the hood and we ain't turn it back. We hold it down for the hood and we ain't turn it back. Come on. All right, that was. Street and we're back. <laughs> That was Street Ethics by Triz. Yeah, boy. And you guys were lucky enough to to check them out this. Yeah, we did. They were great. Weekend, yeah. um, very cool. Quite different. There was a full band, you know, guitarist, bassist, drummer. Uh, yeah, very cool. So they were a band. <laughs> so yeah, how was it, man? I, um, uh, I see from from Street Ethics, they're going for like that. It's it's nostalgic, man. Very nostalgic. Yeah. Bringing back that uh, early 2000s vibe. Yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah. Triz Super has groove. Got the, Triz has got the flow. Yeah, for mm. sure. The music flows. Remember that flows. one day we spent at Bobby Addison's place? Yes, I do. Yeah. One day. Well, I don't really remember because we're all pretty fucked by then. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it, was a, it, was, it was a good one. But tell me, uh, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've always been in awe of your bass tone, dude. Oh wow! And, going uh, there now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk oh. about the the gear sort of thing because it makes you drop. Brown. One thing that um, Damien mentioned earlier was the fact that as a three piece, you guys managed to get a, a nice fat sound. True. Um, but that has a lot to do with with what you put into the search for the for the tone. Well, thank you. And his feel- fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about feel- that. Yeah, man. Um, Obviously, being a, a bassist with one single guitarist, you, you, you're not just a bassist. Yeah. You have, you have a little bit more of a, of a role. Yes. And some of that comes with, you have to have a, a bit of a dirty sound. Mm-hmm. And oh, so I, I like to think most people <laughs> are in search of the tone, you know. And will that search ever stop? Probably not. But my journey began. <laughs> yes, let's get into it. Here we go, deep, get uh, deep. Yeah. My first ever piece of like uh, hardware was, um, I've had many amps, and I've never liked amps. Yeah. Bass amps for me just sound eh, pretty pathetic. Oh, pathetic. And I had, a, I had a Zoom B2.1U. <laughs> you used that Sis. for quite a while, eh? Sis. I used it for a while, and you know what Channel it sounded? Channel A1. Channel A1, but it sounded legit. <laughs> yeah. And then I Jeez. then I had a, 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 a BOD3, Bass Overdrive 3, mm-hmm. and I hooked the two up together. It sounded a little bit bumblebee in the can, but... <laughs> uh, That's a very good description. Yeah. I like that. But you just, you, you know what? Oaks just wear that, that gain on the full. No, but you got you to gotta tame mm, that shit. Yeah. yeah. And then then Can't one day it changed amateur. my life. I listened to, I followed Nolly, obviously Adam Nolly, Get uh, Good. Get Good, yeah. But I followed his personal SoundCloud um, channel. And he just he just let out this bass tone that just resonated inside mm. me. I was like, right in his balls. I fucking yeah. need to have that bass tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did run, run my research. And back then, before Dark Loss became super huge, mm. he was one of the only guys still using it. And um, I was lucky enough to go to Germany for a work conference thing. Yeah. And I picked up one there. Gee, so I you just up. like so just ended up in Germany, yeah. And I happened to go to her. It's like a the music stars shop. aligned. Four hundred euros. Did, what? Um, I mean, a hundred euros. Cara, yeah. 100 did you go euros. to the music hall? <laughs> 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 no, it was it was expensive. So she doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> no, she's gonna see it. Trust me. <laughs> no, no, look, it was expensive, but I plugged it in, and I and I was just like. I have the turn of the gods. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, so I went from the B7K Ultra, Dark Glass, got rid of all the other stuff that wasn't necessary. Yeah. Uh, sold it to Vanna from um, Subject to Slaughter and Last One Alive. Last One Alive, yeah. Imported the B7K Ultra, which gives me the option of a distortion channel and a clean channel. Okay. And I'm able to switch on the distortion when, and when needed, which is most of the time. Mm. But when in, in quiet sections, I switch the distortion off and it's just an EQ. Okay. And because it is a preamp, it's not like a it a, a full on pedal. No, it's it's so it's a preamp, right? Okay. It's an analog preamp, and what it has is just it has specific um, EQ frequencies, mm-hmm. like uh, three three K, five K, hundred hertz, or two fifty, and you can cut or boost where you want. Is that a fun fact? Yeah, no, it's, well fact. it's uh, it's a bit of the geek talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry no, for boring. No, but I want to hear it. Mm. So, look, <laughs> I mean, ev- everyone has their own preferences. Um, <laughs> a lo- well, sit tight. It's going to be a long ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. no, no, look, win. a lot of people, it, it, it's, it's all personal, really. And yeah. my, my settings aren't too harsh. I uh, boost a little bit of the lows, um, cut a bit of the low mids, and then boost a lot, of, a lot of the high mids. A lot of people forget about that. And the oh, drive is, is not on full. It's on maybe two quarters, and it's done. Okay. 
So and, half. Uh, yeah? <laughs> half. Half. <laughs> two quarters is half, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm just being too technical. Okay. And you, and two plus two is four minus one. That's quick math. Mm. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, it's... It, it, uh, I don't know. It's just it's, it's all personal. What what tuning do you guys play? Oh, F sharp. What? Yeah. No, that's not true. Drop F sharp. <laughs> Drop <laughs> A flat. Oh yeah. fuck yeah. A good. flat. A flat F A flat and then yeah. whatever the next one is. A flat F A flat D sharp G. That's me. Yeah, yeah. and then I tune my toms to A flat minor. Yeah, just to be dif- yeah. difficult. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but it works somehow. <laughs> somehow. It's okay. weird. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, Kevin, your gear. What's happening, buddy? Well, I'll Seven tell you why it's tuned like that. Seven string, okay. eight okay. string. So it's tuned like that because when with Dawn started, I only had a six string. Ah, yeah. So it, I tuned it. Well, at the time, it was drop B. So then when I got a seven, I had to keep it that way. So now we just have an extra F string in the high. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's. I'm trying not to do the math mm. the, in my head. This is this is eight, difficult. This is a really weird thing. I actually, having had five rehearsals and played a gig, I cannot remember how many strings. You got a five string? Five string, yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. Mm. Sorted. Yeah. Okay. Done. But it's so yeah. weird when you watch things like, uh, you know, like Even Gear is. God's um, Riff of the Week or whatever, and there's like, Riff you of know, the day. Ollie from Monuments going, okay, so this guitar we have in tuning is B flat, C, C sharp, D, D, F, F. I'm like, <laughs> How the fuck do you remember that? I don't know what mine's tuned to. <laughs> I just know the bottom string and I tune from there. I was just thinking, I, I, um, while you're here, you should probably teach me how to use that GT8. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I uh, use a GT8, which is very nice. Um, I've tried others and didn't like it as much, so mm. I got rid of them. Um, yeah, your GT10 wasn't nice. Mm-mm. What about the GTO? Well, I like a know, if I could, I would. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. That's great teacher on Izuka. That's an anime. Never mind. I thought you were talking about Pontiac. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, no, never mind. Sorry. Damien. Maybe. Damien. <laughs> Damien being Damien. <laughs> You're out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> but Damien, da- let, let me, let me um, ask you, bro. Um, how, many, there... how many practices ha- uh, have you guys had? I know you guys have been talking um, a long time. I know we had discussed this uh, shortly, uh, briefly, mm. where you you said, yeah, no, I dig the music. I want to get into it. Now, how long have did you know with Dawn's music? Um, obviously, you guys have built a rapport um, over the years because you guys have played in bands on the same stages together for many, mm. many years. Many. And would you have ever thought that you guys would be in a band together down the line. I'll, I'll be a hundred percent honest. Like I, I've, I've, we, yeah, we've, we've shared, we've shared the same stage a couple of times, obviously with Josh, Josh on drums. And I think like really like, like l- once I started learning the songs and getting into it in that regard, that's when it really kind of gripped me. If that makes any sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And like, now I'm fucking hooked. Literally. Like I have a flash drive in my car with the, with the, with the album and the EP or whatever. And then that's just, on air a, drumming. That's just, that's, <laughs> While you're driving. I mean, almost fucking causing accidents. Like yeah. that's on, re- <laughs> that's on repeat in my car, obviously because awesome. I'm learning the tracks at the yeah. same time, but I'm just getting into it. And yeah, like, like I was saying earlier, like playing the first gig on Saturday, the spot Saturday, like trying to fucking sing along because mm-hmm. I fucking love the vocals so much. Yeah. And then just like realizing that I'm fucking up the drums. So they rather just play the drums and forget about the vocals, <laughs> leave, leave that to the vocalist. But yeah, like, like seriously, like I, I fucking, awesome. I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm, and without sounding I'm, too soft. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> how does that make you guys feel? I mean, like I'm, we're not in a fucking yeah. focus group right now. But seriously, like... <laughs> It's kind of cool for me because yeah. I've been a with Dawn fan from the beginning. Remember, mm. I mean, not from the beginning because I was at your first EP mm. launch and that was the first I ever found out about yeah. you. You guys played with Very Ape. Very Ape I mean, and Oxenesis. Yes. To be honest, like also like like I, I basically had to kind of get into Josh's head. Mm. But at the same time, it's like not easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta get through the dreads, you know. Well, yeah. I suppose he doesn't have those anymore. It's like yeah. curtains. But like Yo, he's yeah. suave now, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Fancy man. It's, yeah, it's um, smart everything. Yeah, it was actually quite cool to learn the tracks. I, I think I think a lot of the drumming That's like not my Josh. I I, I I don't I think it's too soon to for me to kind of like really 
maybe when we start writing some new stuff, which we kind of have kind of started, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, then I'll like input mm-hmm. my own like specific style. But like learning learning Josh's parts was really fun. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. just it's just like open groovy mm-hmm. stuff, and it's it's just fun to play. I don't know how else to describe mm-hmm. it. It's Yo, just, it was a fucking jaw. The was, best thing that one could hear, yeah, like from yeah. the new drummer. I've been in, I've joined bands where I had to learn the old songs. I'm like, eh, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, yeah. I don't like this shit, but like. I, I, what Josh is doing is fucking awesome. But I you've also it. given it's your own to play. on it, which mm. I, I yes, like. Yes, tell me about that, yeah, Mike. Um, yeah, Mike was saying the other day at rehearsal, and if you remember that when we, I think when we played one of the tracks was either I'm still getting to know the track. It was names, diminished. It was diminished. It was diminished. Sure, yeah. Sure. yeah, that you that you said it felt a bit more groovy. Mm. Yeah, it's. Um, but I also think I'm also kind of like maybe tempo wise playing the stuff a little th- bit th- different. I, think, we play, I think we're playing on tempo now. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, swak. Swak Listen ball. to this guy. No, no, look, um, <laughs> That's a fun fact. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think I think when people see us live in Cape Town again, yeah. they're going to be pleasantly surprised. Mm. Um, it's it's still the same thing, but. Yeah. With a twist. Yeah. With and a twist. With a twist. <laughs> am and, I, am I, am I the twist? You are the twist. You are <laughs> okay. our M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Ooh, with a twist. <laughs> um, um, and Josh was also known to be a fairly hard hitter. And we've got a, a hard hitter. Mm. No, he's well, not the, as hard the, as you the, think. The thing is, like, I bumped no, in. He's pretty soft, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, yeah. I bumped into um, Alan, the, the old sound guy from Raw. Yeah. And he was, uh, we just bumped into each other at in Plumstead, and he was telling me, like, what a guy. First yeah, of no, all. he's a yeah. fucking yeah. guy. Yeah. What a guy. And champion. And he was saying to me, like, yo, dude, you've got some fucking shoes to fill. <laughs> like, I mean, you, like, if you watch, if you'd been to a With Dawn gig with Josh playing drums, yeah, he doesn't exactly. fucking just sit there and look bored. Like, he rips. fucking nails the shit. Yeah. So I've had, I've got big, as I like to say, I've got big dreads to fill, <laughs> not big shoes. Yeah. Hey-o, you know what I mean? Like with me with the short hair, like I can only kind of like, you know, get across that movement so much. But like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. Yeah. And I mean, as long as these two it's guys good. are happy. Yeah. Man, I'm cool. Yes, yes, yes. They, they, they <laughs> said happy. Hey, yo. Mike, <laughs> give, give us an update on what beer you're drinking at yeah. the moment. Oh, eh? this is a lovely little number. It's called Hoppy Wheat from Little Wolf Brew. That is a good wow. beer, though. It's to a, be honest, um, it's a mixture between a vice and a pale ale. Mm-hmm. Each one sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a good old Tafel Lager from Tafel. Namibia. That's it. Yeah. Where Bring black label, God damn it! Yeah, oh, you peasant. Relegated to the castle light. Um, mm. <laughs> really yeah, we're good. Um, so, Kev. Hi. What's on the horizon, my bro? What's on the horizon? The dawn is the on the horizon. Dawn. A new dawn. A new, a new dawn. dawn, yeah. Hey. I always found it fun, funny when I was like, okay, guys, we're playing with, 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 with dawn. Yeah, yeah we're playing with, with dawn. Yeah, I yeah. really think that's like, through. Who's that new band you're playing with? I'm playing with, with dawn. With, with, yeah. with, 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 with. But if you just leave the one out, it's fine. I'm playing yeah, with, I'm playing dawn. with dawn. Yeah, kind of works. It's like, who's she? She sounds hot. Is she sexy? Does she have a good pair of boobs? Who's Dawn? <laughs> so what's what's new on the horizon? You guys, you guys mm. have got a, a smashing new drummer. Yes. Smashing. Uh, honestly, Damien, we've we've hung out a couple of times, but I'm a big fan, dude. I'm a, Thanks, um, buddy. I've watched your um, all your videos, your Vale and Maya videos with your yellow mm. kit. That was a long time ago. It was I a long time ago, kit. but great videos, dude. Um, if for the listeners, I mean, if he doesn't mind. I'm going to plug it anyway. Check out Damien Rikers <laughs> on YouTube. Check his YouTube. He's You're going to actually update your YouTube, bro. I need to do some more videos. The, I think the most recent video I did was a cover of a Tesseract song. Yes, okay. I loved it. Polaris, I think it was. We no, were supposed no, to do that together. I did not like it. What was the song called? What's the, the album is Polaris. It's the, Polaris. Like the first track. Or, no, no like what's the track like called? Tesseract, yeah. yeah. Was it, no, the tracks are called Polaris. No, it's not. It's called In... Oh God! If you geek talk about this, wow. right? well, forgotten. Let, let the one that goes bam, 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 yeah, the one in three, four, bam, 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 bam. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'll do some more. Uh, in Which fact, is actually funny because we were talking about that yeah. doing the playthrough, and I was supposed to go. do some, some substance, yes, some, some guitar some on that, some and history, yeah, yeah. So we were already wanting to do stuff together back then. So. To be honest, like, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, like, it's the first time I'm probably mentioning it to these guys, but if if they've got no better time than now, bro. Mm. If they've got, um, like, I mean, if they've got, they probably. If you guys have like, um, like, still the just the guitar tracks, like the mm. solo. I do. Then I can do like a drum video of one of our mm. songs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're organizing a drum. 
video. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just yeah, saying it's. it's awesome. a, I'm just saying it's I'll a possibility. The like yeah. that'd be pretty cool. I mean, like yeah. I mean, like yeah. Cool. I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll give you a song you don't know yet. It's an option. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> new one. Well, I mean, I'm. I what's I the, I'll give you Tedis Legacy, the first one. Now, let's tell me about yeah. what's, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. been happening in the jam room because you say there's some new yeah. things that you guys have been working on. And you seem very excited about that. Oh shit! I I like yeah like obviously like learning the the current songs is great but i fucking love working on new stuff you know what i yeah, mean like sure. that's that's where i feel obviously i'm doing my best josh impersonation with a bit of damien yes. but with the new stuff it's going to be full mm. full, full damien, full damien. Full damien. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll never honest, go full damien I'll, I'll be honest i can hear full damien in <laughs> the new songs ah, okay. right and the old songs sure you you want to pay homage yeah. to the originals but also to be with honest, your own spin homage. but yeah. the new stuff is true damien and uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, but I, but I, st I still want to. I'm still thinking along the lines of like what Josh did. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to. Mm. The groove must be there. I yeah. know that these dudes are heavy. Like they're, they're, you know they. Groove. Yeah, I keep hitting the mic. Yeah. They're all about the groove. So if the groove is there, then oh, then we're happy. Yeah. You, we always talk about the groove, man. You know, yeah. the groove is something you, people want. Groove is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's in the heart, I've not the house. Beers. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 but that's, that, but that's true, though. It's I mean, mm. you're a big fr uh, fan of groove. Mm. That's just one thing. When, that when, you just when the gotta, crowd is doing this, yes. they're, they're doing that. It's better than that's this. Chris. That's groove. Yeah. Or just yeah. standing yeah. there, obviously. Not, not just just if you're playing in like 7 8 and the crowd has to like fucking. Mm. Like do like a weird fucking epileptic thing every like yeah. bar. Like you're like, nah, brah. Nah, nah just bro. fucking keep, keep that Hyatt on the quarter notes where it goes to the offbeat in the second bar. So what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? Boom, roasted. Yeah. To I totally. like to play guitar. Totally. What? <laughs> quarter yeah. notes, on that right? note, dudes, on that note. Josh uh, wouldn't even know what half that meant. <laughs> Sorry. I, um, I've been a... <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> uh. um, there's one thing that... I do with you whenever I come see you guys live. Mm. I do that anytime now. Maybe you guys shouldn't say that. You, you, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, I do that that thing. I that jam thing. bass with you. you, you I slap it a bass. You slap my bass. Um, you slap it a bass. Gung, honestly, gung, gung. still my favorite mm. with Dawn song. I want to feature it mm. because that's something cool. That uh, it's a song well, you that I really love. Sorry. And well, I am. Mm. So. You're not allowed. I don't well, give you permission. Try pull me off YouTube. I give you permission, oh. Gareth. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's not on YouTube. Although. Um, <laughs> anyway, I am. <laughs> this is Anytime Now by With Dawn. It's by far, not, okay, I'm not going to say that like disrespectfully. Easy but now. By far my favorite, <laughs> most favorite With Dawn song. Anytime Now With Dawn. Check it out.
All right, that was Anytime Now. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Um, anytime yeah. Now, dudes, that's, like I said, one of my favorite songs uh, from With Dawn. What time signature what? is that? Mm. It's 4-4, four, four, but with an extra 2-4. Okay. Or a 1-2. Yeah. What he said? Half. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. <laughs> cool. Hey, if you ask me, I th- that's totally like that's. Um, yeah, so it's one, two, nine, three, eight? four, five, six, seven, eight. No. <laughs> anyway, Anytime so tell now. me, guys, yeah. what what is on the horizon for with Dawn two thousand and nineteen? New setup, new vibes. Mm. I just, figured it out. I just figured it out. It's two bars of four and then a bar of two. Mm, that's what it is. Four, okay. four, and then two. Sweet. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Maybe cool. you should tell us. Well, we had bullet oh. script here last week oh, nice. going like weird time signatures as well. One, one, I think it was. <laughs> Everything's in one, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how it is. Okay. That's what, you know, one click track, no accents. <laughs> click, 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 yeah. click, 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 yeah. click, click. Okay, so Gareth asked Future with Dawn. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so uh, what's on the horizon, dudes? What is on the horizon? Well, I tell you what's on the horizon. The horizon is very bright at the moment. We are currently uh, working towards uh, the first show um, in Cape Town with uh, the new guy. That will be uh, at Mercury. I'm announcing it now. April 27. Oh, shit. Okay, we, uh, you've got a date. Yes, yeah, we have yeah. a date. Okay, wicked, wicked. Yeah. It'll be with Last One Alive and Behest. Oh, Who? sick. Nick, Nick Ricks. Nick Ricks. Okay. Band, yeah. oh, okay. They're one of the Behest bands in Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Joe, hardcore vibes. Um, Some metalcore I remember, or whatever. I don't they know if you guys know this, but Nick Ricks, um, we j- I jammed with, with him for, for quite a, quite a mm. while. Um, it let myself and Alex and Mike Pocock of mm-hmm. Brochella ah, were um, Swim the other day. starting a band yeah. with my cousin, well, second cousin, and Nick mm. was 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 on vocals for quite some time, mm. and we started a band called Lightspeed to Hades. Nice, oh, I like that. And he why does that sound this, so familiar? Because you know he's a cra- crazy. Uh, um, illustrate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nick and stuff. When we were playing this uh, in this band, he made this whole poster and everything called Lightspeed to Hades. I like when I was band playing band. with Bottom Feeder, I think one of our last shows we played at um, at uh, what's that place called? It's, it used to be Rabbit Hole. Now it's called the uh, Black, Black, Black Irish. Black Irish. Yeah. yeah. And we played a show at Behest, and Nick had his he had his like he, he had two t-shirt designs, a whole bunch of stickers. Ended up oh, buying shit. one of the t-shirts. Dude, the fucking dude. So maybe he's designs. actually used that again for maybe like okay. he had like a like a, a like a skeleton knight with like a bat. Like this dude, like seriously, like he's really good. Nick stuff yeah, is he's amazing. Incredible. Like, yeah. and he's a Word great up. vocalist and extremely yeah. Yeah. good writer. Yes, his and just um, a general all around very nice man. Yeah, the one thing I really always enjoyed about him is that he would always arrive with his notepad and it always had crazy blue scribbles and mm. he would write on the go yeah and i've I, that's the last time i've ever experienced that mm. where yeah. it was i've got no, a guitar in my hand i can't write what do we yeah. on a, what do we on about <laughs> nick ricks yeah oh, like, back in the day i, I jammed <laughs> oh. with him for quite some time trying to get oh, uh, right. pre-Atlantic okay. South okay. on pre-Atlantic, oh, pre-Atlantic yeah mm. oh, behest um, i mean like the, the music yes, is kind of will. like i guess it's hardcore like as, a, as like a kind of umbrella yeah. genre but they do have like you know like like shades of like maybe like power violence and like yeah. more like in, like like crazy kind of like mm. um noise core kind of stuff mm. like yeah. it's, it's really fucking sick like that's I, awesome i man. really enjoyed watching them at that mm. uh Black Irish, yes, yeah, yeah. and you were one Irish. of the the bands um, that played. Uh, we're lucky enough to play a Surferosa show. I've like, yeah, dude, playing Surferosa with Bottom Feeder. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, as a as a live venue, it's a fucking small joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like because it's so small, it's seen, and you're playing like it literally creates like a culture. Yeah, you're playing outside the toilets, like mm-hmm. on the floor. It's Seriously? basically like awesome. like when it comes to like a hardcore floor show, like that's kind of the vibe. It's cool. Like I mean, like what Gandalf's was back in like 2003. Exactly. <laughs> they should have more shows there. Like I mean, Kyle Lucky. How's it, Kyle? Like <laughs> yeah, he Shout he out. organizes that shit. Like I know he's into his hardcore and stuff. But I mean, you yeah. should get other bands there, man. Like 
it's such a mm. fucking rad venue to play. Like it, because of the intimacy of the of the space, it's actually it, it ends up being such a rad vibe. intimacy. I just wanna <laughs> I wanna play a gig there where people are stage diving. I know Scott, the vocalist of Bottom Feeder, he climbed up on the benches. They have they've got like where booths, so he climbed up on the bench on the booth and kind of like I don't think he dived stage dive, but like yeah, I would like to see floor dived. Yeah, <laughs> more or less. I would like to see table like, dive. I would like to see people jumping off the, the fucking bar, tables. dude. Off yeah. the bar because the bar kind is also yeah. like super close. I mean, I'm but maybe I like, like those those intimate shows. Hey? Yeah, they dude. they really hold a kind a, of a grittiness vibe. to them. Yeah. Mm. There's like a vibe. A vibe eh? There's oh. a vibe. There's a vibe. <clears throat> there's a vibe, boy. Shay? No, no, there's, there's a, a, there's a every, vibe. Every venue has a vibe. Yeah, for sure. But don't you guys miss Raw? Of course. Do you think that? Do you think there's been some sort of a a, um, a void you know, without without them being around. There's a raw void. Yeah. There's a raw void. No, of there course. is. That, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, I mean, beep, beep. there is one thing. There's a huge pro and a huge con to this. So the con is obviously we don't see our mates as often because we would always just, yeah, you dude. always end up at Gandalf. Gandalf. So you're always going to raw. Your, all your mates' bands are playing at raw yeah. and it's all the time. And um, that's that's definitely a con that we miss all of our friends like that in that way. But I think another a huge pro about it, if I can call it a pro because it's heartbreaking, but a sure. big pro is that it's sort of weeded out people that are just in a band just because they 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 think it's kind of cool. Yeah. And you can go to Raw and you can play your forty five minute set of nonsense. And yeah, but now because you have to go to like Mercury and you have to pay to play, yeah, it's sort of weeding it's out the bands story, that yeah. aren't serious about it. I guess Antonio would kind of like not to say anything bad about Antonio because fuck, dude, I mean that dude's yeah, a legend. But he would kind of like, I mean, as nice as nice of a guy he is, he would pretty much let any band play there. Mm. Sure. Which, which again, like my, like Kevin just said, it has its pros and its cons. Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? But like, yeah, we definitely. I didn't. I yeah. haven't really. I mean, we we discussed it. Um, in a previous co- podcast with myself, I think, and Jared Ronnenberg, mm. um, where we were like the same thing, mm. where there's a lot of more emphasis placed on tightness, mm. being a, a, a more efficient a, band. A, yeah, more efficient and profe- um, tighter, professional in a way, I prof- suppose. Yeah, professional. Because um, now you really got to do your marketing. Because if you want people to come through the Mercury doors, you need to do it properly. Especially yeah. if you're getting two other bands yeah. to to. Um, be mm-hmm. supporting mm-hmm. acts yeah. and you got to pay them as well. Mm. I guess like what Kevin was saying, it, it, it weeds Those, out the, the yeah. people that are like actually really serious about it. People who just want to be in the scene. Yeah. You know, and, and maybe don't have that much talent. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you went there. Talent. <laughs> right. Kevin rule, everyone. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, Bro, I'm fucking nearly 40. Fuck all of you. You're nearly 40. <laughs> yeah, Kev's, Kev's been around for a while. Yeah, He's seen things. Seen. He's seen many things. And I've things. been one of those untalented He's been bands, to a donkey so show fun. in Mexico. Yeah. Have you been to it? No, he hasn't been there. Yeah, um, yeah. While, while we're on that, I mean, yeah, like Kevin the said, uh, the, those, those people you'd see every weekend, those people you see front and center. Yeah. Like the dude, I just like people that stick out for me at all. The dude with the afro, right? Joe. 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 Like, mm. Where the fuck is Joe? Yeah. Where is he now? <laughs> where the where, fuck where, is where, Joe? Where are the other people that used to go yeah. every weekend yeah. to support? Where are they now? And yeah. why aren't they coming to support? What's, what's yeah. changed? I don't know. Yeah. It's Maybe weird. they just it's like, weird. I don't know. At home, <laughs> maybe like playing video games. <laughs> three beers for ten rand was like the best deal ever. Yeah. So like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the culture that was there, you know. But it was it's a, a huge different vibe. It's, yeah. it's a different culture. Um, it is. I, I keep referring to culture, but it it's. No, you're right. They, they created a culture. It, mm. it, was, it was a exactly. situation where a lot of people felt comfortable. It was a home. Um, a lot of us, where yeah. moving to a new venue or a new constant venue mm. is maybe a daunting task. Mm. Uh, maybe drinks are slightly more expensive, mm. wh- whatever the case may be. But that still um, yeah. goes to your point that you know y- you you got to take it seriously in order to book yeah. that venue. To, yeah. to play and to yeah. you've got to meticulously think out who your support acts are going to be mm. who's going to be yeah. a crowd puller or whatever the case may be but Indeed. it is tough having mm. one major venue there yeah, G- yeah. Gandalfson mm. Raw was basically like an institution like yeah. people knew the place you come to Cape Town mm. if you're going to go watch underground music or like yeah. alternative bands 
the that's bands the are going to gonna play at Raw. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's it. Like, maybe they'll play at Mercury. Maybe they'll play at, like, somewhere else, Northern Suburbs. But, like, mm. Raw yeah. was the place. That's but I want to play Devil's Advocate at the same time, Kev. To you say. are an advocate. I was going to say, isn't that your... Uh, <laughs> I'm not an advocate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> First time. Didn't oh, pass yeah. the bar. <laughs> no, no, no. Didn't ever do the bar. Uh, <laughs> he passed other bars. Yeah, but you drink at the bar, though, <laughs> right? Moving on. Drink no, I didn't bar. pass any... I had a bar one He's got a bottle up here. But... Yes. But... <laughs> what but you you saying as a pro uh, a, a pro as opposed to a con um, that everybody would be a lot more <laughs> meticulous on the sound and yeah. how the performances and all that yeah but don't you think it's a con in the sense that the young bands don't get to get that yes but that's what I'm saying. It's yes, kind of absolutely vibe. absolutely yeah so what you're gonna find now is that a lot of bands might, might not even start. Well, that's that, yeah, no. but that's that's what I'm so, saying. Yeah, like now that they don't have that opportunity to, yeah. you know, uh, for I mean, instance, there are other. I mean, like Black Irish is still free to play. Yeah, sure. So to, there are places, but yeah, it's it's different. Now. To use yeah. a fancy word that I've heard a couple of times recently, Raw was a springboard for mm. those lesser known bands. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I mean? Sure. Antonio gave them those gigs. It was yeah. their first gig. They they yeah. that was kind of like the beginning for a lot of those bands. Yeah. Yeah. Whether they continued or yeah. not. That was up to them, but yeah. Antonio gave them that platform yeah. to start yeah. what they wanted to do there. But I mean, he's still, I mean, look, Trenchtown is still going and they want to do gigs there. So, I mean, that is the yeah, plan. I, yeah. I saw something posted by Alan the other day saying that in a few months, yeah. things are going to happen. Yeah. Things are happening. Right. So that's well, great. We've played, you and I, we've yeah. all played yeah. uh, Trenchtown. We I played it was Josh's great. Farewell that that's night. Right. It was yeah. great. An absolute banger. Mm. Yeah. It was a fantastic show. Yeah. We all, uh, you remember that was a very stressful evening as well. Why? Um, Sean had a had a personal issue that he had uh, to yeah. deal with. Yeah, um, quite, quite that was vibes. a very yeah yeah yeah. Um, but, um, oh, look, but we did it. <laughs> while while yeah. you're talking about Trenchtown, why aren't people playing there more often? It's it's interesting because yeah. it's such actually a great venue. We had a great time there. No, yeah. and the crowd yeah, was we had excellent. A, we had an awesome time, dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. why aren't I personally playing? think they should. This is just my personal opinion. I think they should take the bands. Out of that little alleyway, you know, because yeah. there's that alleyway with the bands. I don't feel mm. that that's. I mean, fuck. I mean, like, I'm sure most. Okay. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah, like I don't think they should have them in there. They should put them into that main hall. You know what I mean? Mm. There's that big main hall. If yeah. they could put a stage there somewhere and make that the venue. But that's a big pull for yeah. sports and yeah, exactly. Pizzas and I guess all that yeah, that's, yeah, that's the money maker. They're gonna do the balance, but I think they. Uh, Ellen mentioned mm. they're making a plan, so we'll see. Only time yeah. will tell. Well, I mean, didn't the whole sound rig go from Raw to Trenchtown? Apparently so, yeah. yeah if, we can, if we can have like Raw 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys if sick. I'm sounding a bit nasal. I'm still coming off the bronchi, the bronchitis. <laughs> yes, I also had bronchitis yeah. recently yeah, just before we went to Jersey. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going to get totally sick. Hard as well. it the hard the AIDS well. is fucking guys. going around. Yeah, <laughs> the lung AIDS. The lung AIDS. We were just <laughs> speaking off camera that all these guys are married and have wives <laughs> to go home to. <laughs> <laughs> My wife made supper, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, well, on that note, I want to. We still haven't got to the the brass tax, the brass tax of what? what what's the plan for with Dawn? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus, that's keep, like ten keep, minutes ago. We can digress. <laughs> we for, keep on segueing into as other long shit. as we yeah. want. But I want to know <laughs> yeah. from you guys what what's the plan for with Dawn? Okay. Um, I don't want to put you under pressure, so you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. No, we've got shit. No. Sweet. This thing because is remember, I'm so, I also want to jam with you yeah. guys this year. Yeah. No. Well, as in look, like a second guitarist. No. No, no, no. As uh. in like with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so the, um, With my band. Just speak into the thing. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? hands? <laughs> hey. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Ah! Shake it back. Um, okay, no, look, look. We... A, uh, actually, sorry. Before mm. you say anything. We should get you to do a little acoustic show on Papa G's last one. Yeah, okay. He's, he's I really can good do that, that. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. When we got sit, for, sit the folk down here. And I... <laughs> anyway, so, yes, we are busy writing. So we've got, uh, well, there's plenty of ideas. Uh, but we have started on parts three and to come four of Driftwood. Shit, so you're going mm. Driftwood? Yeah, three and four. That's going to be... Four. Wow. Announcements. Uh, the titles are what was it again? I don't know. The night and the the, the night and the dawn. 
Was it The Ghost and something? No. That was the album title I had for when, before Josh. Oh, so you guys are wrong. Spoiler alert. Martha <laughs> and the Martha. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's the calm, the storm, the night, the dawn. Yeah. So the, the okay. story oh, okay. completes its arc. Okay. Yeah. So we're working on that at the moment. Right. So right. we will have at least one of them ready for the next gig. Sweet. So it's oh, half sure you're making, you're making promises. No, we there, have bro. to. <laughs> we have to. I don't want to do another gig mm. with the same songs. Okay. Sure. Uh, but there's also other that's, tunes. Yeah. Mm. How, how, but that's another thing. How, how do you feel about that? I also felt like I was mm. getting into it. We, we, as a band, we were playing the same set yeah. over and over too many times. Of course, for, for Damien, it's a different story. I it's mean, all it's new it's for all me. New, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm really keen to start putting more s- new songs. Like I said, so. dude, new stuff is yeah. is exciting for me. Yeah. So yeah. And now we got a new guy, so that's cool. I mean, that's we cool. tried. I think we tried with this this third driftwood with Josh for ages, and I wanted to have it all done before he left, yeah. so we could we could record it while while he was still here. And yeah, no, never happened. So now let's let's put the pedal on the metal. Are you using um, the services of mr mike kubik for recording yeah. this time well of course because yes. if you look at that guitar just to your left mike oh there it is that's the guitar there's you the custom me, mc basically. right there mm. mc custom um yeah but we, we'll so save that for always. another day yeah. um so yeah. with dawn yeah new driftwood yes two parts another two parts not That's as awesome. long as the the others. I will say that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wicked, but wicked. We, I, I could safely say we put out an EP this year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Easy. You're going to record the vocals here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'll, I'll, I'll do the recording. Actually, I need to do it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. da- Damien and I will actually, we'll, we're thinking of doing a little bit of pre-production already with like... A Damien and you, what? Damien? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we spoke about are you guns? guys already leaving? We Kevin spoke, out we of the spoke door, about yeah. this. <laughs> no, we just basically, I just, I just, um, at the last rehearsal we had, Broken I just nail. basically brought up saying, like, hey, I'll come around to Mike's place. Mm-hmm. We'll program some drums, like, to mm-hmm. the, because to, Kevin's got basically a fucking Ooh. abundance of riffs. He's got, abundance. A, yeah. he's got a bag of riffs. Spank bag. We're going to, we're going to mm-hmm. kind of empty that bag out, hopefully, yeah. in, in, in a cool sounding way. And, yeah. Wicked. And write some new yeah. shoes. Nice one. Mm-hmm. Nice but obviously, as, as everything goes, life gets in the way. I mean, I, I travel mm-hmm. a lot for work. Uh, Kevin does a lot Country of the evenings. Country Road. Yeah. I play with two other bands. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah. dabble in a bit of sleight of hand card tricks. Mm-hmm. Stuff. Oh, yes. Speaking of which, we've got a pack of cards here. Don't we? Yes. Mesmerize us. Yeah. We're going to get rid of this. They're here. We're going to do a card trick <laughs> ah, with magic. Damien. Okay. Okay, let's do this. You're going to have to get well, the mic with you, dude. I'm going to show you a card trick. Uh, okay, let's do this. Do you want me to move this thing out, no, out of the fine. way? No, it's fine. Don't stress. We'll okay. the camera will okay. react. So, this is a very simple trick. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read old Gareth's mind. Okay. So, uh, let me just shuffle it <coughs> first. Okay. Yeah, you got to shuffle it. Give it a good shuffle, as you guys not can a, see. That's not a false shuffle, everyone. It's not a false shuffle. It's a 100% real shuffle. Don't okay. Give it a you ready, Gareth? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. What I want you to do whenever you're ready is say stop. Stop. Okay. Have a look at that card. Yeah. Got it? Got it. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if I can read your mind. Okay. I'm going to count from one to ten out loud. I just want you to just not react. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I feel like I'm getting the number. Like stone cold. Okay. Mm. Okay. And I'm going to say the, 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 the four suits. Okay. Spades, diamonds, clubs, hearts. Spades, diamonds, clubs, hearts. Spades, diamonds, clubs. Okay, I think I got it. If I'm not mistaken, your card was the eight of hearts. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Actual? Well, I, I mean, was it your card? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ask how you did that, but what that was the legit actual? card. <laughs> I probably should have showed the card to the camera, but yeah. So it was eight of hearts. Yeah, okay, well, let's do it again. <laughs> do it again? Okay. And I'll, then you can show the camera this time. Yeah, okay, yeah. so just to shuffle again. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, I need a sip of beer. This is intense. <laughs> he mesmerizes me every fucking ba- uh, practice. I'm just sitting there like, okay. this guy's a go. wizard. Say stop. Stop. Okay, look at that one. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Oh, you didn't show the camera. Oh, uh, okay, shit. just do, do it again. again. Okay, one more time. Okay, say stop in your Stop. Okay, there we go. Got it? You sure? Have a look. Got it? Okay. Now, what I want you to do this time is mm-hmm. just say it over and over in your head. Are you saying it over and over? Mm-hmm. Saying the 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 the, the, mm-hmm. the the name okay mm-hmm. so, king of spades king of spades king of spades king of spades the king of spades 
<laughs> dude, he's that's like right. a wizard. Well done, dude. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> King of Spades. That was it. That was okay, it. Okay, so, if the, so if the Withdrawn album takes longer, it's because he's yeah. sitting outside I'm showing me practicing. magic tricks and I'm just yeah, sitting well, there like, how? Let's, he's going to bring the magic to Withdrawn's new music. Yes. Totally. Indeed. Awesome. Awesome. Dudes, it's been so rad Hi. having you guys. How's it here. going? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's start again. Let's start Hi. over. <laughs> Dudes, it's right. been so cool having you guys. Um, Thank you, it's, Papa G. It's it's more than Papa a pleasure, G. my brother. Um, it's been a long it's, time. It's been a long time it's, coming. Yeah, I've, I I've try, wanted, but it's, I've wanted to I'm actually old. wanted to get Kevin on for a long time. Mm. Not, obviously, yeah. I've never had this capability of having more than one guest. Mm. So thanks everyone for coming uh, tonight. Papa G's house is very. It's been very hospitable. It's hospitable. It's hospitable. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, dude. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. it's been great from my side. Mm. Like good times. Good Sweet, times. man. You guys? Well, thank you guys. For real. Good times. Yeah. 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 And thanks, I'll man. see you at band practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When is that again? I, I, I don't no know. Idea. We got some shit to, to worry about before then. Um, <laughs> and hopefully version you can... 14.5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we'll, we'll see you at maybe the Mercury show. Mm. I will definitely. Oh, let's plug that show quickly. Uh, oh, yeah. With Dawn are playing with. Last One Alive Last and one alive. Behest. Last One Alive and Behest. On April 27. April 27. It's a Saturday. Have you guys got the artwork done? I'm busy that? with that. Okay, no. great. April 27th. But don't re- don't forget that the night before there's a free lithium show as well. Hey yo. Hey. Oh. Okay, so and aces and spades. It's, is it lithium and friends? Catechus Grin and. Mm. That's it. Is it just you, yeah. you guys? Catechus Grin on the 26th. Sixth, yeah. And with Dawn. On the 27th. Last one alive and behest. <laughs> on the 27th. On the 27th at Mercury. At Mercury good Senior. weekend. Um, I'm gonna have to take good the luck, next guys. Off. Damien, I'm so looking forward to seeing you behind mm. the kid with, with me Dawn, too. Dude. Hopefully, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, it, look for me, someone who's been a huge with Dawn fan from the beginning. It's more gonna of be, a Josh fan than a with Dawn occasion. fan. <laughs> it really is. Um, Mike, it's always going to be cool to see you. Uh, I'll work. be honest, like at the at the Joburg show, I kind of flubbed the last song we played a bit. Quite yeah. badly. Yeah, pretty badly, but like, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, pretty badly. No, it was pretty bad. No, no nobody mis- else knew. No, no mistakes. All five people didn't No mistakes realize. this time around. No mistakes. <laughs> nice promise. One. I promise you guys. <laughs> awesome. Zero mistakes. Mm. All right. That is Mike. That is Kevin. That is Damien. This is with Dawn. This is Papa G's house. What song we got? Uh, what song we got? Mm-hmm. Nice. Song we're gonna play? Well, the oh, next song, nice. ladies and gentlemen, is coming off the EP Tethers. I hope you enjoy it. That's track one, Legacy. All right. Legacy. <laughs> this is Papa G's house. This is with Dawn. This is Legacy. We're out. Bye.
Bye.